Next day in the Annuity Man here. Welcome. I want to explain the shirt. People are like, hey, what's the fist for? Remember the Jack Nicholson movie with Tom Cruise? Remember that one with you can't handle the, the truth and all that stuff? Look at this. That's what I'm talking about right there. You can handle the annuity truth. I'm the brutal truth maker out here. I'm the walking middle finger of brutal truth, of brutal annuity truth. So, what are we talking about today? How's a non-qualified annuity tax? Disclaimer, boop. I'm not a tax lawyer, I'm not a CPA. You need to talk to those people. Do not take tax advice from people that haven't earned the right to give tax advice. It's like asking a fat person how to be skinny. You don't do that, all right? Don't ask people that don't do taxes how to do taxes. Now, you're saying this stuff, hey, wait a minute. We're talking about taxes, right, Stan? Yeah, you ask, I gotta do this, my YouTube video. So let's talk about how non-qualified annuities are taxed. I'll give you the 30,000 foot view from the B-2 bomber, but you gotta come down here to the fighter pilot and that's the tax lawyer when you get down to the end and you're trying to make a decision. So we're gonna cover all that, all types of annuities in a non-qualified account. Non-qualified means non-IRA, okay? That's what that means. So we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you how you can get quotes and how you can get my books for free. And so hang in there with me. We're gonna talk about the ugly word, taxes. Non-qualified annuities, meaning the annuity is not in your IRA. And I'm, we're not talking about Roth IRAs, not in your traditional IRAs, so it's, it's in a non-IRA account. So how are those annuities taxed? So let's go through the types, right? Let's go through the primary types. Immediate annuities, which is a pension income now type product in a non-qualified setting, it's gonna be a combination of return of principal plus interest based on your life expectancy at the time of the payment. So you're not going to pay taxes on the return of principal side you're just gonna pay taxes on the interest side until all the money's gone. Once the money's gone, you pay taxes on it all. All right, it's based on your life expectancy. Same thing for deferred income annuities in a non-IRA setting. It's an annuitized product, so you turn on the lifetime income stream, and it's a combination of return of principal plus interest. Uh, when the money's all gone, you're gonna pay taxes on, on the full income amount, but up until that point, you're only gonna pay taxes on the interest. Now. Qualified longevity annuity contracts doesn't fit here. Why? Because that's used in traditional IRAs. Let's talk about multi-year guarantee annuities. Multi-year guarantee annuities in a non-qualified setting. First of all, the good news in a non-qualified setting because it's like a CD product. CDs you have to pay taxes on the interest every year with, with multi-year guarantee annuity fixed rate annuities. You do not have to pay taxes on the interest every year. It compounds and defers. But when you pull the money out, is taxed LIFO, which means last in, first out. English, please, that's gains first. So you're gonna take the gains out first, you're gonna pay taxes on those first. Last in, first out. Same thing with fixed indexed annuities. If you have a fixed index annuity, it's grown, and you're gonna take money out, you're gonna take gains first out, it's gonna be taxed last in, first out. Okay, so that's kind of the, in my world, the fixed annuity world, which is stand the annuity man, license in all 50 states, that that's how it's taxed. But again, you need to talk to your tax advisor, etc. In other words, if you have annuities in your portfolio now and you're trying to figure out the best way to go about taking money out of those annuities, then you need to talk to your tax lawyer or CPA. One other thing that might be of interest is with deferred annuities like multi-year guarantee annuities or fixed indexed annuities, you can get to the end of the contract and instead of taking lump sums out and being taxed last in, first out, in a non-qualified account, you can convert those into immediate annuities and take advantage of what we call the exclusion ratio, which is that combination of return of principal plus interest, and maybe it would be a more tax favorable decision for you. I know I've thrown a lot at you. That's the reason I'm yelling at you to go see a professional and we can work directly with them as well, especially if you already have annuities in your account. But if you don't and you're thinking about, should I get an annuity you know, I, I, in a non-IRA setting, how would it be taxed? Uh, just remember, immediate annuities and, and deferred income annuities, which are annuitized products, it's an exclusion ratio, combination return of principal plus interest, 
multi-year guarantee annuities and fixed index annuities. That's last in first out if you're taking the money. And if you have an income rider attached to one of those, I know I'm throwing a lot at you, sorry. That's the reason you gotta contact me, standingannuityman.com. But if you have an income rider attached to an index annuity or, or a multi-year guarantee annuity, some do have those, then that's a last in first out as well, gains first with most income riders attached to fixed annuities. I know that's a lot, so hang in there with me. Okay, so I got a call the other day. A guy had a multi-year guarantee annuity he had held forever. Remember, that's a fixed rate annuity, it's like a CD. And so it had grown, it had, it had almost tripled. And he said, well, you know, I could take money out, I said, but I'd really like to turn it into an income stream for my wife and myself. And I said, fine, we can do that. But there are a couple of rules. Number one, the IRS has a section, if you're really, really bored and have no life whatsoever, go to section 1035 of the IRS code. And what that says is, you can transfer from one annuity to another annuity in a non-IRA setting, and it's a non-taxable event. It doesn't trigger any taxes. So you can go from XYZ annuity to ABC annuity, wire-to-wire -wire transfer, and it's not going to create taxes. However, in this situation, we went and shopped for the best immediate annuity rates for this person's um, you know, dates of birth for him and his wife and how they wanted to structure it. And so we came up with the, the, the top five carriers. He chose one. And then we said, okay, we can do a 1035 IRS approved transfer from your current fixed rate annuity to the immediate annuity, but the cost basis, the original cost basis transfers to the immediate annuity. Now, the cool part about that really is when he turns on the income stream from the immediate annuity, that cost basis is figured in, but they're going to, in essence, lengthen out that tax liability over their life expectancies. He's still going to get an exclusion ratio. It's still going to be a combination of return of principal plus interest. They're just going to factor in the cost basis and then lengthen that out, that liability out over his life expectancy, which he liked. So instead of cashing it all in and cashing the, the multi-year guarantee annuity in and paying all the taxes last and first out on all that gain, he transferred it with cost basis to the immediate annuity and created a lifetime income stream and then lengthened out that tax liability. That's some Stan the Annuity Man inside info that you need to know. All right, not my favorite subject, taxes, because I don't like paying taxes, a lot of them. I'm assuming you don't either, but we have to cover them and I hope we we kind of answered the general questions about how's a non-qualified annuity taxed. I would encourage you to, to watch this video as well, which is on income riders, which is a little bit more complex. The good news is, let me find it. Drum roll, please. Income Rider Owner's Manual. It's one of the six owner's manuals that I've written, and I'm gonna tell you how to get those in two seconds, but you gotta do one thing for me right now. Hit the subscribe button, please. Be part of the Stan the Annuity Man YouTube family. Why wouldn't you be? You have no answer for that, that's good. So click the subscribe button and then after you do that and you feel good about it, because you've helped me, which is a good thing, then you go to the more info button, click that, you'll see a drop down, and you'll see a link to get my books. You'll be able to click that link and then you fill in confidentially, of course, your shipping information and we'll ship it to you in this really nice gold foil bubble mailer. Expensive, man, I'm putting the money out there. No cost, no obligation to you. And if you need quotes or you have further questions, you can go to StanTheAnnuityMan.com or email me at Stan at StanTheAnnuityMan.com. See you next time.